Where is it? Come on, more than two. Is that it? No. Am I that bad? I guess I am. Wow. Here we go again. Got ya. Nope. I got three shells left. And I think there's a couple more in this one. Let's get him out of here. Get out of here. Can you fly? Let me see if I can grab y'all. Ah. No. Okay, I'll leave you be. And that right there, folks, is why I am the cameraman. I came up with three out of probably, I don't know, 50 or 60 pigeons in that silo. This is the same silo that we went to probably two years ago. It was Dustin and Dom. They shot more than me, obviously. I can only make up for three out of, I don't know, three, four, 15 shots probably. But this is not how this video is gonna go, I promise you that. I got a bunch of other spots that I can go and jump pigeons, other silos, bridges. Some of you guys have been requesting these greasy pigeon videos where we just go and jump shoot pigeons. It's just me right now, Dustin and Carter, they're out guiding and I'm farming, so you might be seeing just me on the channel for a little bit here. Things are gonna be a little different this year for us, guiding, we're guiding for Goose River Outfitters here in North Dakota. The area that we are pretty much guiding in, there wasn't much birds there this early season. Um, the, the feeds that we do have, we're saving those for clients, uh, which is why you guys haven't been seeing any goose videos. We can't just go around and do a bunch of buddy hunts anymore. We gotta save these fields for clients, make the clients happy. But yeah, that's uh, what we're doing. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna let these pigeons restock in this silo, hopefully, and come back tonight and uh, try to redeem myself here. So since it's just me today, you're gonna be seeing a lot more action on the GoPro. The times where I get to a silo, I will set the camera up, but for the bridges, I will just be rocking the head mount. We're gonna give it a try. Uh, sometimes when we shoot them out of that silo, I was just at, they'll fly to this bridge, and then where those trees are right there, um, where those trees are right there, that's bright, is another silo, but that one's a lot more trickier to get the pigeons because they pretty much see you walking right up to it. There's a big hole in the middle of it. Um, so we've shot a few out of there, but there's three pigeons flying right here at the bridge There was probably not going to be anything under here Sometimes at these bridges you got to shoot first so they get alerted and fly out of it uh, But sometimes you can stomp on it. Oh, there's two ducks Sometimes you can stomp on it There's some more ducks. I might have to take a shot here. Take a shot and see what flies out Yeah, missed him. We'll try to go to that silo over there and see if we can get any. Well, I can already tell the silo is gonna be a bust. There it is. There's probably 10 or so pigeons standing on it. Uh, the moment I park in this field drive, they're all fly out of it here, I'll show you. There they go. It's not gonna hurt to try it, so. Might as well. These plants here are sugar beets. This is what uh, me and Dustin and Carter farm in October and September. They kind of look like a cabbage plant. And all of this right here under all that is a big, a big old sugar beet. That's what they're called. So sugar cane provides 80% of the world's sugar and sugar beets provides the rest, which would be 20%. So if you're living in uh, the North Dakota, Minnesota, you know, anywhere by the Red River Valley, you guys are pretty much eating the sugar that we harvest up here. Fight. Oi! Looks like some other people have been over here shooting pigeons and have been just shooting the silo. Nothing. Well, I apologize for wasting your time there, but I'm gonna head over to probably another bridge. So we are at the next spot. This is probably one of my favorite spots to go to when we're up here farming. It's an old uh, Farmers Union grain terminal. 
and uh, they usually come out the very top so sometimes it's hard to get a good shot on them on the cameraman so I would usually are never shooting them over here but I guess is a first for everything, right? They usually come out the back side and then uh, on the other side of that door, there's another door that's open. I'll show you guys that when I get over there. That's the hole they usually come out of. Sometimes they'll come out of there. Uh, I'm not really too sure how I'm gonna get them out of there by myself. Cause usually we do this with a couple, a couple dudes. I don't know, there goes one. Shoot, come back. Buddy, triple. Let's see if there's any more in there. Those ones all came out of there. There you are. You little flapper. No band. We have probably shot, I don't know, probably a good 300, 400 pigeons up here and we have not shot a band once up here. I think Dustin's got one pigeon band from three years ago back in Minnesota. I gotta figure this out here. I can't climb that ladder, I'm too short to reach it. Even if I get up the ladder, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I'm up there. This is where these ones came out of. Oi! 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 There's one. Here he comes. Nope. Oh, he's dead. There's another one. They're coming out the side over here. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. There's five. Usually when we come here, there's like 10 or so. There's probably been 15 that have flown out. I got three shells left. I got four or five down here. I think that's a wrap at this place. I'm gonna attempt to retrieve the three or four that are out here somewhere. I already found one. I'm at the next spot here. It is a silo. I'm gonna try to set the camera up. I've never shot pigeons here before. One of the guys at Farms for Dustin's aunt uh, said I could come over here and shoot pigeons out of one of his silos. I've always seen pigeons here every time I've driven by it. So he's tilling right now in front of the shooting lane that I was planning on shooting on, so I'm gonna let him finish tilling and hopefully there's some pigeons here. Looks like he's done. Time to see if there's anything in here. Oh, there is some in there, huh? Let's see if I can't find a rock. Oh, I got one. I got two. Holy shit. I had no angle right there. This guy's flirting with me. What's up, buddy? That's it. Well, I shot three. I couldn't find one. Herb here wants me to leave these guys for his cats. So I'll throw these somewhere over by those sheds. I forgot to press record on the camera. I shot three here, as you guys seen on the GoPro. I got one more spot to check that usually has a few and then I'm gonna go back to that first spot where I shot like three out of 50. So I'm at a spot I just found actually. It's not posted. As you guys know, here in North Dakota, if a field is not posted or a piece of land is not posted, you are legally obligated to hunt on it. As you can see those silos right there. And then behind me there is two more silos and one of them is like completely open. So I'm really expecting a lot of pigeons here. My approach to this, I have no idea. Hey! I see you. You're gonna have to get out of here. I got a shell, but I don't really want to use a shell. Oh. 
Oh, I quit. Well, I guess there's only two in there. I gotta go check out those big boys though. I guess my GoPro was not adjusted there. I'm not sure how that shot was on my GoPro, but I know I got a good clip of it on here. But two silos left and I'm going to the first spot. I got like 30 minutes until it's dark, so I gotta hurry up. That's what I was trying to tell y'all when I was saying it was pretty open. All those panels got lost. That's where the ladder goes up. Those squares, you put a square piece in there with the ladder on it. I'm seeing any. Oh yeah, holy shit, it is loaded. Look at that one right there. Hey, don't fly that way. All right, this is gonna be freaking madness. All right, here we go. Reload. Miss, miss, oh God. I should have brought Luke's gun. There's definitely some more in there. Uh, put one in my mouth. Oh. Oh, I missed that one. That one was cool. There's two more. A floater. A dead one. A dead one. A dead one. Reload, I got one shot. That might be it. Oh. Got him. Might as well shoot what I got left. They're trying to go back in there to go to sleep. That might be it. Thanks for flapping. There's no way I'll be able to find all these pigeons I shot over here. I'm gonna find the ones I can find, and I'm gonna try to go to that other spot. Well, I'm not sure how good that angle was on the camera. I shot like four or five, I could only find one. But it's getting dark. I'm gonna hustle over to the other spot and wrap the video up over there. Well, there was a change in plans. It got a little too dark out. I'm gonna save that spot for the next time. Luke and I are gonna go out and shoot pigeons. He was working all day today. What are you doing? Since Luke was working all day today, uh, we decided to save the really good spots that you guys are gonna have to wait for that video. Uh, there's, a, there's a few spots. Some silos will have two to 300 pigeons instead of the ones that we were seeing today, the 50 to 60, so. But if you guys enjoy these greasy pigeon jump shooting videos, whatever you want to call them. Let me know and we will do some more for you guys. Honestly, they're kind of fun for myself because I get a chance to go out there and shoot. The last video where it was just me shooting on the channel was like two years ago. I shot like four geese or something like that. But I'm gonna go inside, take a shower, go to bed because I got an early morning tomorrow farming. Stay tuned for the goose videos. They're coming guys. Just be patient. They're coming.